Are you interested in just finding the molar mass of calcium hydroxide for fun? I didn't think so. For school, right? So, well, guess what? You came to the right place, though. It's going to be very quick. Watch. I'm going to use this table to help us out. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to identify the elements in the compound, right? So we have calcium, Ca, we have oxygen, O, and we have hydrogen, H. Next thing is to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript at the bottom of here of calcium, it's not a zero, it is a one. So if nothing's written in there, it is a one. That means we have one atom of calcium. Now for oxygen, oxygen is part of the polyatomic anion hydroxide. Now in each hydroxide, you have one oxygen, but wait a minute, you have two hydroxides overall, so that means you should have a total of two oxygens. In other words, you can take the subscript of oxygen and simply multiply it by the subscript there on the outside. So that would be a total of two. Right? And then for hydrogen now, you would do the same thing. Subscript of one, but you got two hydroxides, so therefore there should be two hydrogens. Now we're simply going to take those number of atoms and then multiply it by the mass of the element. Where do we find the mass of the elements? You got it. Periodic table. Let's take a look. So we got calcium here, hydrogen, and oxygen. All right, so calcium is 40.08, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and oxygen is 16. Those represent gram per mole if you're finding molar mass, or AMU if you're finding molecular mass. So let's write them in. So calcium is 40.08. Oxygen has a value of 16, and then hydrogen has a value of 1.01, .01, okay? So we just write the masses of those elements singularly. And then what we're going to do to find the total mass of the element of the compound, now that's where we start multiplying the row across. So now we start taking into account then the number of atoms, all right? So uh, 40.08 for the first, right? This is 2 times 16. That's easy. So total amount of mass uh, for oxygen is about 32, okay? Not 36, as I was just about to write. And this is going to be 2.02, .02, all right, the total mass of hydrogen there. To find now the mass in the entire compound, all you got to do, just add this column together now. Take all the total mass atoms together. So this works out to be about 74.10. Since we're calculating molar mass, the units are in grams per mole. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Easy peasy, right? I'm glad this helped. Well, I hope it helped. And if it did, I'm glad. And if it didn't, I apologize. Maybe I'll be able to help you out on another one. All right, I'll see you soon. Take care.